Hey dee, howdy howdy and welcome back to another episode of Red Roo Gaming. And we are here, we are finally here in Planet Zoo. So I've been promising this for a little while and it's taken me a while to get to this point, but here we are. So, um, what we're going to do for this series is a little bit different to normal. Normally in Planet Coaster we'd just jump in a sandbox and we'd build, we would build a zoo. Now, I thought about that and if you're seeing this then I definitely haven't changed my mind and what we're actually going to do is a franchise. Whoop. Now, back in Planet Coaster we had a uh, franchise, air quotes, that we set up the Immunity Parks. Uh, we're going to stick to that and we're going to try and open some zoos. Now I've had a bit of a fail in the trying this already so hopefully that doesn't set us back too far but we're gonna do a tropical uh, I'm thinking Oceana and we're gonna go with Muniton Zoo Muniton or Immuton Immuton Zoo uh, yeah, we might be able to change that later if anyone has a better recommendation or suggestion, but we're going to go with that for now. If you do have any suggestions for zoo names, drop them down in the comments because we might just use it for the next one. We'll see how we go. And here we are. So this is our zoo. We got 40 grand to begin building our zoo. Uh, adopt exhibit species. Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it. And then what we're actually going to do is replicate something I did last time that you didn't see. I'm going to move all these plants out of the way. And what we're going to do Use them to kind of customize this little start area because it doesn't cost you anything to move these trees around. So that really helps with the, the starting budget. So what I'm using here is the M key, which allows you to move any, or well, pretty much any object you can select. I'm just sort of moving these trees around a bit in order to I'm going to make a walkway through here and then um, yeah try and make it look pretty enough. Cool. So over here we are going to have a staff area. Uh, first thing we need to do though, grab ourselves a path, pick our path. Now I'm thinking I want to go with either this or this. I actually kind of like that stuff. Go seven meters wide. What else we got? We got the log ends. That could look pretty. Like sawdust or gravel. Tree bark. Two logs. Ash felt. Ash felt. Wooden planks. Heritage brick. Mossy brick. Mosaic, Rustic Path. Actually, Rustic Path could look really nice too. Nope. Heck nope. Definitely not. Possibly. What are you? Crazed Stone Path. I'm not going to go with Frosted Ice. That's probably more of a... Let's go with the crazed stone. I'm either thinking crazed stone or this wood log rounds. I think if we go with the crazed stone, we can use the wood log rounds in other parts of the zoo. So, boop and boop. There's our path. Really just need to get past here. Back into paths. We'll grab our staff paths. We're going to go with this dark blue and about 
Well, four meters wide, and then we can go. So, bloop, 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 bloop. Should be long enough. Oop, that is, however, not a good enough angle. Let's snap you to 45 to 15. Cool, and that's it. That's that. So, now what we need is... I'll need to move this tree. Or a pair of trees. <clears throat> and then, we're going to grab ourselves from facilities. So we need a set of staff facilities. We need a... <clears throat> Start with an auction building. Uh, Z to rotate in this game. And grab an auction building. Loop. And grab ourselves a veterinary surgery. Which we are going to keep across the road from the Let's grab ourselves facilities. Are these guys? Try and line it up with one across the road. And I'll put the quarantine across the road from the veterinary surgery. Black soul. What else do we need? We need a staff room. give them like so and we will need a it's a staff room again a research hut I'm thinking should probably overlook a habitat which will be on this side And the staff hut, which we'll put here as well. So that is the bare minimums of what we require. Now what I can do is I can grab what trees are left over here. And move them around in a way that looks pretty enough. So there's that. Now we're going to do the same with all these. So that's that. Um, now we need to start working on our exhibits. So let's have a look in animal trading and see what's available. Yeah, okay, we got aardvarks, African elephants, dogs, African dogs, turtles, bison. Pretty good selection, I think we're looking at in this here list. So let's maybe narrow this down a bit. Um, a crocodile could be cool. Um, fits in, especially here in Queensland, in Australia, with the uh, tropical vibe we're going for. Um, Let's start with crocodile. Saltwater crocodile. Saltwater crocodile and on the other side or the second exhibit we want to put in. Let's see what dogs we've got. Let's actually just start with a crocodile. 
So water crocodiles. We've got 645 leaf points at the bottom. So we could get her. It's gonna blow pretty much all of our points. This one will blow just over half. No, well over half our points. Uh, this one will blow just over half our points. It's not very big alligator wise. It's a male. Would mean we'd be able to get a, ma a female to join later on. Sure, let's adopt it. We'll move it into our uh, quarantine. Awesome. We apparently got a free aardvark. I don't understand how we have a free aardvark, but we have a free aardvark. Okay, well, <clears throat> um, let's start with the saltwater crocodile pen. Um, what I want to do for him is actually build up the terrain a bit. This is going to cost us quite a fair chunk of our money, but I think it'll work. So I'm going to move these plants again. I need to work out this path first so that I know exactly where to put this. Get all that money back. Okay, so we're going to put in our path first. We're going to go with this wood stuff, as we said. We're going to go with a form five meter wide. I want a 15 degree lock off at a length of one meter. So I'm going to put a entrance here, two meters. Okay, entrance here. Cool. So that's our viewing area for the crocodile, which means, and Matt actually wants to start here somewhere. I enclose your fence, barriers, close your glass. Sometimes this stuff takes a bit of thought. Uh, it's going to be brick wall enclosure. So it will do. Okay, so that's our enclosure thus far. Uh, we are going to grab uh, terrain, lift the tool, lift the terrain here. Then I need to level this terrain the whole way along this fence. Obviously, we're going to have to lift this fence, but um, that would be a minor technicality. Uh, a little less. Bring this across here. Across here. Down to here. Where we have our first little problem. We are too close to the path. Okay, so we pulled out the fence. Now what we need to do is go um, barrier, brick wall again. Put our brick wall here. Done, cool. Now we raise this pillar <coughs> up. Gives us a level-ish <coughs> panel across here. We edit this panel with a glass window and a glass window. <coughs> Done. Now, what we need to do, um, I'm gonna bring we should have done this earlier. Get down in sections of this. Okay. 
try and get this so that it's not so steep. So that the alligators can actually get in and out of the water. Cool, and do the same on this side. Okay, then we grab our water. That terrain, water. Make it still water. And we'll put in our water. Now, that did not end up anywhere near as deep as we were hoping for. So, we are going to have to lower the terrain in here. Much better. Now we're talking. Okay, so we're going to need to raise pretty much all of this up again. Which is fine. Uh, these two panels are going to become blast as well. We're going to raise all of this Yeah, we'll go that far. Why not? Cool. So, we can put these trees back. Cool. And, can we unpause this? We don't have any staff yet, so let's get ourselves some staff. Uh, staff, we need a caretaker. We need a keeper. We need a mechanic. We definitely need a mechanic. We need a security guard. Uh, and a veterinarian. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the vet and the caretaker will take care of the animals from here over to here. Um, we will need a gate into the crocodile habitat. So barrier, let's put in a steel gate. Cut plonk. We need to pass that in, so... Stuff passing, clunk. Uh, we're going to need from facilities power and water. We'll need a water treatment plant and some power, which will cover yeah everything in that area. Perfect. It means we'll be able to put in some lighting. So, we need some shelter for the crocodile. Um, hopefully I can find a decent little shelter. I'm gonna take that basic little shelter. I'm gonna terrain. Cool, our crocodile is ready to be moved. Okay, and we're back and I finally got the menu to work properly. Okay, so we can move this crocodile. Uh, buddy. Sure, let's go with Buddy. We can move Buddy into his enclosure. Once we've got Buddy in his enclosure, we can actually look at um, what little bits and pieces he requires from us. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into facilities, grab one of these signs, and I'm going to put it right here in front of this mound that will be covered by plants, so far enough forward that I can do that, and saltwater crocodile. Cool, we have a saltwater crocodile in its habitat, and we're going to pause because we want to look and see what it wants. It wants a lot less long grass. Short grass is fine, but let's swap the long for grass to start with. Especially around here. Okay, happy up. It wants a little bit more rock. Uh, it wants more rock. He could use more sand and he wants a lot more soil. So, soil, let's... Uh, Add a 
bit of soil around the place and areas that crocodile might go. Uh, we can add some rock along the ledge here. Get our soil numbers down, correct. A bit more light rocking along here maybe. Okay, it's quite happy with that. Uh, plant life. Let's get some plant life in here. So we're going to nature. We want aquatic and tropical. So we go up here to the filters, biomes, uh, tropical and aquatic. So bird nest ferns, it's fine with. I'm not, it's all fine with those. Cool, so let's whack some of those in around the place. Uh, you should be right with these, yes. Um, let me get this tall. Cool, we got our tree. Down to ground level, please. Doesn't need a lot of coverage. They're crocodiles. Happy with that, still happy with that, cool. Um, should give us the necessary. I can whack in some palm trees over here so that still looks fitting enough. Yeah, gives us a nice little... Uh... Whoa, that's a big tree. Are you okay with that big tree? Yes, but you are way too much coverage points. Um, you know what that is? Are you okay with it? Yes. What other options do we have? Okay, might have to use some rock, but that's okay. We can put rock along this. We can put rock along this wall. Grab our f seemingly favorite. Favorite rock, there's not a lot of options in some of the areas. I'm gonna go that way, and then we're gonna go that way, jump back into this, lift, uh, move over the wall here, just it a little bit further. Just like that, we have a nice, there's a crocodile, a nice habitat. Um, I'm gonna double check that it's still happy with everything. Yeah, it's happy enough. It's happy with the vegetation. I'm good with that. There's a little bit more ground cover we can put in. Enrichment items are gonna be our hard part. If I go into habitat and enrichment items, food enrichment, I haven't got any. That, I haven't got any. Uh, the best I can do is a large food tray. Definitely a large food tray. Maybe a water trough. They um, be really sure that water in the habitat for the animal. Uh, we will have to jump down here into the research center and pick some research, I guess. So zoo, vet research. It was a vet, it's not a... I'm gonna put you on researching him because I want some toys. Cool, so let's unpause the game. Um, there's our crocodile's habitat. He and or she seems quite happy with it other than the enrich enrichment of it. Um, Nice viewing window over here, which will be good. 
what options do I have for you? Because I want you. Hopefully that'll keep the water nice and clean. Uh, I want to do some decorating over here, so nature. our crocodile enclosure um, that however is pretty much what we're going to call this episode um, there actually is a couple more things I really do need to put in here uh, I think they're under facilities Aha. we want a coin bin we want um, and here, a couple of speakers. We're gonna put a speaker here. We're gonna put a speaker here. Get them both to the saltwater crocodile pens. Make it just big enough. 10 meters, I'm happy with 10. And nine. Which will educate our people and make them even more likely to throw money into this bin which has already made us $420 thus far. Uh, I'm actually going to change these colors. You're going to be a dark green. And a really, really light green. Really have alligators. And that's it. That's the enclosure. Oh, what are you whinging about? Oh, that's completed some research. Well, that timing is perfect because that means we can jump on down into habitat Give you a sprinkler. Ooh, uh, actually, what temperature do you want? You'll never guess what I forgot. I forgot to put in uh, somewhere for them to sleep. Nap type areas. Uh, we're going to jump into the zoo, no animal trading. Look at another crocodile and that'll give us the temperature range. We need to double check because it's currently 30 degrees Celsius. Mr. Alligator. 12 to 42. So they're happy in this temperature, which is fine. So we'll leave it at that for now. Um, but yeah, let's uh, hit this button here which will give us a lovely look of our alligator. And I'll thank you guys for watching. Thanks for joining us, guys. Um, stay tuned for some more content coming out shortly. Uh, on the screen, as you can see, uh, the first tile that popped up actually was the uh, new schedule for when we are releasing what videos. Um, I haven't determined it as of yet at the moment of filming, but we should have it determined by the time it's released because we're releasing. Nevertheless, Stay tuned for more content. Check out the, the uh, calendar. Uh, it's also available on the website, redroogaming.com. Uh, follow us on Facebook, the Twitter, uh, Instagram, all that sort of stuff for more content as we release it. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.